Okay, so if you find yourself with something like this, where you have dates in a column, but they are entered in this format, so you have 17 December 2020, and you want to convert to a date, you realize that even though this is known to be a date, it's actually a text in Excel. So when you go to home, and you're trying to change this from whatever format it is to probably short date, it doesn't respond, right? If you do a control one on this, Control one, okay. I'm trying to change the format. Probably select this as a format. Click okay. It still doesn't respond. So like I said, even though it looks like a date, this is still a text in Excel. The main cause of it being a text is um, actually the suffix after the number. So over here we have th. In some instances you have nd. In some instances you have st. Okay. Those suffixes are the ones that are causing this to be rendered as text. So if I had this exact same thing, 17 December 2020, okay, you realize that as soon as I hit enter, this is actually recognized as a date in Excel. Okay, so how can we get this changed back to its date format? Okay, so there are a couple of ways you can do this. Well, obviously, the easiest way is to just replace the prefixes with uh, nothing. So, what that means is that I can use a find and replace to replace these prefixes so that I can go back to having an easier way of changing this into a date. Okay, so I'm going to select everything, Control Shift down, Control Backspace to reset my page. So Control H is for the find and replace dialog box. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find TH and replace it with nothing. So replace all. You can see I have a lot of them done, 73 of them have been done. Good. I'm going to also replace ST, replace all. Right, 17 have been done. Okay, I'm going to replace ND, replace all, 10 has been replaced, and the last is RD. So RD, replace all, and then this has been converted to a date. Right, so close, and I have everything converted back to what its date value. Okay, the alternative to this is to use a formula to do this so we can use substitute in excel with a formula to do this so equal to substitute okay we provide the text okay and now you have to indicate the old text you want to replace and what you want to replace it with now there are several texts we want to replace we want to replace th we also want to replace nd we want to replace st and we want to replace rd to get it. So basically, all these prefixes after the number, we want them to replace. So we need to find a dynamic way to tell Excel that, okay, I want to replace any prefix after the number. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, so let me place a space over here to pause this for a while, and I'll come back to it. Now, how do we dynamically select these prefix or suffix? Okay, so in Excel, we have a function called mid. So what it does is it's able to extract a component of a text string starting from within the text string. Okay, so this is my text. Now, where do I want to start extracting from? So from this one, it looks like we can extract from the third character, right? But that's not the case for all of them. You realize that for something like ninth, we have to extract from the second character. So we need to find a dynamic way to tell Excel when to start the extraction. Okay, so we're going to use a function called find. I'm going to find the position of the space in this text string. Okay. So we want to find the position of the space. So if I convert this to its result, so function F9, it says, it says what the space is the fifth character. So the space happens to be the fifth character in this. So I want to find starting from the third character. So what do I do? I minus the result of this by two. So this minus two. And that takes me to the third character. Okay, now how many characters do I want to extract? I always want to extract two characters. Hit enter. I have th. You see that? So when I copy this down, I will always get the suffix after the number. Okay, so fantastic. So that's the same formula I'm going to use here in the substitute. So we're going to come here, we're going to say mid. Okay, in this text, I want you to find. 
the position of the space right within this text so um, i'm going to close that minus that by two okay and give me two characters to close this so let me see yeah to substitute this which is the text the old text is made all of this so if i do an fn on this f and f4 it gives me the th i'm looking for fantastic okay now what do i want to replace this with i want to replace this with a new text which is what the new text is nothing so double quotation like that okay and i close bracket with this done i guess hit enter and i have 17 december 2020 i can copy this down and it goes through like that All right good so with this done what i'm going to do is now i can wrap a date value function around this date value close this enter right and i can copy this down Control d and like magic this also solves my problem okay so you can use both worlds so in case someone comes and change this to i don't know um 21st december your formula updates as well okay so please practice and add this to your list of exotic thank you if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our youtube channel finest skills hub all our old videos are here please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.